Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm continuing with my exploration of trying to find the colours that I like to paint twilight scenes. So I'm going to be painting this beach scene here using indigo, cobalt turquoise, opera rose, cad orange, and some um, raw sienna. I've sketched the scene out lightly in pencil and I'm using my cheaper Saunders Waterford paper, which is a lighter weight, um, 90 pounds. So you'll see it cockle or buckle quite a lot as the paper expands when wet. And I'm using a large wash, wash brush to um, wet the page all over. And I'll be painting the first layer wet in wet um, to try and get in that beautiful, um, soft, dark, but fairly intense sky. Um, with opera rose and cad orange to try and give me that sunset glow across the horizon. So I'm not really looking for a finished painting here. I'm trying out these colours and testing them to see how they work and to see whether I like them. Because if I do, or if I like some of them, I can include them in future sunset or twilight scenes. So with my sky, sea and beach colours in, um, I'm now going to just begin to introduce a few darks into the shadows of the rocks. I'm now going to leave it to dry completely and those buckles and ripples should smooth out as it dries. And then I can add a cad orange glaze to the sunset and then continue with the scene, um, building up the shadows and of the rocks and the distant headland. Thank you. 
so the scene is slowly coming together with that distant headland on the left. I'm now going to uh, brighten up the sea a little bit and I'm going to use the flat brush, the same brush I used for the distance um, and that distant beach because it's a really useful brush. You can use the tips and it gives you this lovely sort of horizontal orientation and keeps the landscape nice and flat. So this is um, cobalt turquoise with a little bit of indigo so that it, it's going to be a little bit brighter than the sky. Trying to keep it nice and straight and then I shall paint it down leaving gaps for waves and then add shadows in the water under the waves and then begin more work on the beach adding some shadow to that and then eventually I shall add some white gouache highlights to the uh, gently breaking waves on the right. It's just about finished, so here's my white gouache. It's a nice opaque white, and I'm using it fresh from the tube and dipping my damp brush into the tube itself. And this should just give me some nice subtle highlights to the gently breaking waves, and maybe a few highlights a little bit further back. Keeping the brush strokes horizontal again. I think it's almost finished. Um, I'm going to check 
how it looks once I remove the tape. This lets me see it um, with fresh eyes. I can see it with its white border and I can see if I've got the, the, the tonal value balance right. I think my rocks are too light and this lack of value on the rocks um, detracts from the twilight atmosphere. So off camera, I added some more shadows um, with my indigo and raw sienna mix. And I think you can see here, I hope, across the, the sides of the rocks in particular, um, those darker shadows, <clears throat> excuse me, just finishes it off and gives it a more convincing late afternoon, early evening atmosphere. Overall, I'm quite happy with the way the colours worked here, um, but I'm not too keen on the way the cad orange worked. I don't think it kept its clarity. I think it got a little bit muddy. Um, I think I'm going to experiment with different colours to get this sort of effect. I've got a couple in mind uh, that I'm going to try and sort of get hold of and have a go with. I do like the Opera Rose here, but I know that Opera Rose is not fully light fast so it's not probably the best color to go for it was just one that i had but as i say i've got a couple of colors in mind and i'll come back at some point in the next couple of weeks or so and try out another twilight painting with a few different colors but i'm very happy with the blues and the stone colors here i think they work really nicely let me know what you think in the comments and if you've got any suggestions for sunset colours that you really like to use. I'll be very interested to read them. And if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, then why not consider subscribing? It doesn't cost anything. And if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified whenever we post. And thank you so much to everyone that supports this channel on Patreon. We really appreciate you. Take care and happy painting. Bye.